we are sorry about that everyone apparently the electricity went out the power went out everything went out and we disappeared off your screens for a little while but we are back hopefully for the foreseeable future or at least until six o'clock this evening when the sunset safari ends i don't know how much of the earlier bit you saw actually so a reintroduction i guess my name is jamie this afternoon dave is on camera with me and what i was trying to say was we're driving straight into that storm in fact so much so that our rain covers eagerly and we're anticipating it and fell down but it's okay we're all back to fully functional once again and on our way towards the angama pride so for those of you that missed <sighs> dusty those of you that missed the sunrise safari we were with them this morning dorian I can't remember what the average rainfall is in the Mara. I know that it's much higher. That's my own fault. I know that it's much higher than it is in the sands. I would guess somewhere around between 800 to 1,000 mils per year. Possibly, potentially even more. But you're looking at a region of about double what we get in the sands. So lots and lots of rain. And even though we say that the rainy season has ended, it still continues to rain throughout the year. And of course there's the rains in November and then back to the, the rainy season <laughs> in January to around about May. Dave, that buffalo looks a lot how I feel. Having a nap. Fast asleep. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm pretty sure that buff, yeah, that buff's fine. That's just, that buffalo is just having the world's deepest sleep. Oh, oh, disturbed by the yellow-billed oxpecker on its nose. I can't think of a better day for an afternoon nap. Oh, he's up. I wonder if he's got that feeling that, you know that feeling that you get after a long afternoon snooze? Where you actually don't quite know what your own name is? I wonder if he feels like that. When you wake up and you think, I could really use a snack round about now. That is exactly what that buffalo is feeling. Good morning. Yes, there's a storm coming. And there's an ox picker on your nose. Who hasn't woken up from a deep sleep with an ox picker on their nose? It happens to all of us every now and again. Oh, another ominous rumble of thunder. Lots of zebra in front of us. I was hoping that the elant herd would be out and about but it doesn't seem that they unless Dave what is that with those zebra um you know those zebra the ones with the stripes the ones sort of straight in front of me do I see an elant I do I do I do see an elant there's a beautiful herd that lives around here and sometimes on our way back up the mountain on our way towards the gate we bump into them and I'm reminded just what gorgeous antelope they actually are. And then if you look closely, you might see some peeping toms looking at us over the ridge. Oh, wow. It's even, lo it's even more rain than I thought while we watch the approaching rainstorm. 1400 millilitres. Millimetres. Which equates to, sorry, what was that in inches, vehicles? which is a certain amount in inches and our rain cover once again eagerly anticipating the rain by slightly um, preempting it thinking speaking of storms i know scott was off to the south that's the direction that the storm is in let's go find out how he's faring